Genetic Inheritance and Genetic Control Gene Regulation and Expression In gene expression, information of the gene is transcribed into mRNA. The mRNA is then translated into a product, usually a protein or enzyme that is needed for the specific structural and functions of a cell. Following that is the activation of the protein. Bacteria regulate expression of their genes to adjust to different environmental conditions, including the presence of food in their surrounding. The most Efficient mechanism is often by regulating transcription, and that is known as transcriptional level control. In eukaryotes, the basic mechanism for control of gene expression is the operon. Operon is a gene complex or a group of related genes with related functions that are clustered together on the bacterial chromosome. Advantage of having related genes with related functions clustered together is that it allows the genes to function as one transcriptional unit. It also allows this transcriptional unit to be controlled and switched on and off together, coordinately controlled. Let us look at the basic concept of operon. Operon is the entire stretch of DNA that is required for enzyme production. Operon consists of a promoter, an operator, as well as structural genes. Promoter is the binding site for RNA polymerase to initiate transcription of structural genes. Operator is the on and off switch in a segment of DNA that controls the mRNA synthesis. And then there is the regulatory gene, which is located outside and upstream of the operon. The regulatory gene codes for the synthesis of mRNA that is translated into a repressor protein. Repressor protein binds to operator of a particular operon. E. coli is a bacteria commonly found in intestine of humans and other mammals. In E. coli, lactose operon or lac operon codes for enzymes that function in the uptake and metabolism of lactose, which is a milk sugar. There are three structural genes that transcribe into a single mRNA, which is then translated into separate enzymes, three enzymes. The structural genes are lac Z, Lac Y and Lac A. Enzymes produced are beta galactosidase from Lac Z, permease from Lac Y, and transacetylase from Lac A. Each enzyme has its own function, which is beta galactosidase hydrolyzes lactose into glucose and galactose. Permease helps facilitate the uptake of lactose into the cell, whereas transacetylase detoxifies other molecules entering the cell via permease. And then there is the regulatory gene, which is lac I. Lac I codes for the synthesis of mRNA, which is then translated into a repressor protein. Allolactose which is an isomer of lactose, is an inducer of protein repressor, repressor protein. Regulatory genes, or like I, are continuously expressed and transcribed, therefore producing small amounts of repressor protein. In the presence of lactose, Allolactose acts as an inducer and binds to repressor protein. This causes repressor protein to change shape, hindering it from binding to the operator. Operator is activated and lac operon is switched on. RNA polymerase binds to promoter and therefore the structural genes like Z, like Y, and like E is being transcribed into a single long mRNA strand. Translation of the mRNA produces three separate proteins being 
beta-galactosidase, permease, and transacetylase, which is needed in lactose metabolism. In the absence of lactose, no allolactose binds to the repressor protein. This causes the repressor protein to bind to the operator, forming the repressor operator complex, which blocks part of the promoter and prevents RNA polymerase from binding to it. Like operon is switched off, no structural gene is transcribed, and here no enzyme is produced. In the context of gene regulation, like operon is a negative control of genes because the operons are switched off by the active form of repressor protein. Like operon is considered an inducible operon because this operon is always off but can be induced to be on when a small specific molecule interacts with different regulatory proteins. In this case, the small specific molecules is allo lactose. Enzymes of lactose pathways are therefore considered as inducible enzymes because their synthesis is induced by allo lactose. Enzymes like this usually function in catabolic pathway, which is the breakdown of a nutrient into simpler molecules. The advantage is that Cells avoid wasting resources by producing enzymes only when the nutrient is available.